What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Truck Talk, your favorite segment on YouTube. Thank you for being here. It means a lot to me. I'm thankful for this community that has formed around these Truck Talk episodes. Love seeing you guys comment. Love seeing what you add to the conversation. And I just love the fact that you take the time out of your day to tune in. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to 307 Project. And we couldn't and wouldn't do it without you. So thank you. This episode, as usual, is brought to you by me, inspired by my man, Chili. I'm going to try to clear up some confusion. A lot of us normal folks were confused about something. I consider myself a normal folk. Um, here's what we get confused by. As we look at what's happening in the world, we look at the decisions that are made by corrupt people politicians, greedy politicians. Uh, we look at the statements that are made by these wicked and evil individuals in the private sector, like your George Soros and your um, Bill Gates and all these uh, heads that influence politics and influence culture. We see the evil things they say, they do, we see the corruption, we see the greed, and us normal folks, man, we're watching this from the outside, and we're saying, how in the world can somebody be that evil? How in the world can somebody be that greedy? How in the world can somebody be that corrupt? How on earth does this person sleep at night? We're confused by it. I know those are the things that I think when I look at what some of these individuals who are power hungry and want to control other people, the decisions they make, the things they say, um, it can be confusing. Let me explain to you how these people are able to sleep at night, how these people are able to do what they do and just carry on as if it's no big deal, man. Let me tell you. What has happened? See, these individuals weren't born that way. All right? At some point in their life, they probably experienced some little bit of success. And they liked it. They got some little bit of power or control and they liked it. Right? They liked it. And then they started to compromise on the morals and values and standards that we have as human beings, right? The, that, are, that are built into our conscience, our very nature, the law of God that's built into every human where we know what's right or wrong. They start to compromise on that because they liked the power a little too much. They liked the success a little too much. They liked the money a little too much. And little by little, they made these compromises, right? Over and over and over again for some of these people over the span of decades. And this is what happens when you do that. Your conscience, your very conscience that's part of your human nature, becomes seared with a hot iron. The hot iron of compromise and sin and greed sears your conscience. And you actually become a reprobate human being. You are turned over to a reprobate mind. And you reach the point when your conscience is seared with the hot iron of greed and wickedness and sin that you can no longer discern right from wrong. So these individuals that you see that are at the pinnacle of evil and wickedness and greed and corruption, they don't even know that what they're doing is wrong anymore. They've reached that point. And that's the reason they're able to sleep at night. They have a debased mind. They are reprobate humans. There is no hope for them. 
There is no hope for reconciliation. There is no hope for repentance. And those of you right now who are watching this who are dabbling in compromise on your moral standards, on your own conscience, you're dabbling in lies, you're dabbling in adultery, you're dabbling in pornography, you're dabbling in greed, you're dabbling in corruption, and you think, I can stop this at any time. You're playing with fire, man. That's why the word says, the wages of sin is death. Because when you dabble in these evil things, eventually you will reach a point where there is no turning back because you can no longer recognize good from evil. And you are bound for hell at that point with no reverse. Hope that clears things up for you. That's the truth coming from not me, but from God's word about the human mind. Love you guys. If you got anything out of this episode, buy a hat, buy a t-shirt, man. Chili caught up on all his orders. Joker ain't got nothing to do. Y'all know the truck talk shirts are in stock. The hats are in stock. It means a lot for us that you guys are out repping the truck talk shirt all over the country, man. I see the orders coming in. I see where you guys are from. I love each and every one of you. Enough said.